Hello, I'm David Brewster. I'm here to talk about guitar picks and picking technique in general. With this video, I'm just going to talk about some differences in different picks, uh, as far as the material, the gauges, and uh, actually just real picking technique as well. And this kind of goes along with a book that I have uh, from Center String Publications called Power Picking, which that's kind of a beginning guitar book, getting you comfortable picking the strings, changing strings. And it's a pretty basic uh, concept, but it really is meant for beginners. And uh, there's a few picking exercises in this video that are going to be a little bit more advanced than what you'll find in that book. But in the book, I do talk about different shapes, and gauges, and materials that picks are made from, uh, you know, different ways you can actually hold the pick. And uh, that's a pretty interesting thing to talk about before we actually do any picking, is just how, how you hold a pick. And I'm currently using uh, these little Jazz Tortex uh, picks from Dunlop, and they have kind of a sharp point, which is a little different than the normal average size guitar pick that you might find uh, either online or in stores. So they're a little bit smaller, but they work for what for what I do. Um, just having like a smaller surface as far as where you grip. For some reason, like now, I've been using these for so long, a normal size pick just feels huge for some reason. But I do use these occasionally on acoustic guitar, but primarily I use the little jazz sharps uh, all the time. What works for one guy may not work for somebody else, so I definitely highly recommend maybe go to a store, buy an assortment of guitar picks, and you know spend four or five bucks and come home and, and just try all the different picks. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about really playing wise, I'm just going to take a real basic scale that a lot of you I'm sure already know, the minor pentatonic scale. And I'm just going to basically use a downstroke uh, picking technique. I'm only going to pick down on every note. So if I do that, I'm basically just picking a downstroke and picking every note through that scale. I can also do uh, alternate picking, which basically means you're going to alternate from a downstroke to an upstroke as I ascend through that scale. And as you play things like that with the different picks, like, you know, maybe you grab one that looks like this, which is an average size guitar pick, but it has an extreme point to it, or a sharp tip. Uh, you know, experiment with, you know, playing similar things to kind of get a feel for what might be different with the pick that you're using. But basically, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you like a really basic minor pentatonic picking exercise to kind of help you get used to doing an alternate picking uh, technique. So it's in the key of D, and we're going to be up a little higher on the fretboard here. And it starts on the 13th fret on the B. And you're just doing this descending pattern. And then I'm going to reach a little bit higher on the high E. So the sequence itself sounds like this. You could try it in different keys, uh, but that's a good place to start because now we're going to take that idea but flip it around and play an ascending version, which would be like this. example is a it's a major seven uh, example it's D major seven and what we're gonna do with that is it's gonna be an ascending pattern of four and all I'm gonna have you do is just move it down one fret so now you're gonna play D flat major seven so you're doing this Thank <laughs> you. 
If you added some legato in there, like hammer-ons and pull-offs, you can really make a wild sounding lick. <laughs> wraps up my video about guitar picks so once again just you know don't be afraid to experiment and try different uh, different types of guitar picks out there and once again I want to thank John from Jen Dunlop and my cameraman Brett and until next time take care